guys so today's video is all about this look that i have on right now please subscribe down below if you haven't yet yeah don't forget to check me out on other social media i usually always post looks that i do throughout the week on my instagram let's just jump right into the video Hey guys, so I already primed my eyes with MAC Soft Over Paint Pot. So to begin our look, I'm going to be using ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow in the shade Wilshire. This is going to be our transition shade. For our crease, I'm going to be using Carity Beauty's eyeshadow in the shade Safe Word. This will give us more of a defined crease and as you can see here, I'm just doing windshield wiper motions and focusing most of the products on the outer corner of my eye and then bring it in towards the inner corner of my eye. Oh, Next for our lid, I'm going to be using the Solorio eyeshadow quad. This is in the number 525 and it's just a beautiful purple shade and I'm going to focus this color on the inner corner of my eye and also on the outer corner. Being very careful to leave the center clear for another shade that we're going to use. For our center shade, I'm going to be using the steam quad and this is just a beautiful light gold shade that I'm putting just in that center where we had no um, shadow in. This will just create a beautiful halo effect on our eyes, which is what I'm going for for this look. To blend all shades together, I'm going to be using Carity's eyeshadow in the shade Muscle. And I'm just putting this directly on my crease, making sure I blend all the shades together so there's no harsh lines. To highlight my brow bone, I'm going to be using the same Lego shade that I used on my lids. And then for a little liner, I'm going to be using the Stella Stay All Day Liner. And then we're going to jump into our face. So for my face, I'm starting with my Makeup Forever Smoothing Primer. And then I'm going to go into my L'Oreal True Match Foundation. This is in the shade W2. It is my favorite foundation for summer because it is so lightweight and just works amazingly well for dry skin girls. Then I'm going to go ahead into concealer and for concealer I'm using my NYX HD concealer. This is in the shade Fair and I use this to conceal and highlight so I'm going to put it everywhere where I would want to conceal and highlight. Then I'm going to go ahead and blend that all in with my Real Techniques complexion sponge which is great and I love it. And then I'm going to go ahead and bake my face. So to bake I'm using my RCMA No Color Powder. And placing this everywhere where I had a concealer. Now for contouring, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Contour Kit. This is in the shade Fawn. The one that's in the middle is the one I always use. And I'm going to be just defining my face with this on my temples, cheekbones, and also jaw. Then I'm going to be removing my powder that I had placed where I had concealer. And I'm going to be using the same powder to place this right under my contour. This is just to clean up the contour of it and just make it more sharp and defined. For my lower lash line, I'm going to be using the Carity's, um eyeshadow in the shade Muscle and blending it in. And then I'm going to go ahead and use Safe Word just to make it a little bit more defined under my lash line. And then to highlight my inner corner, I'm going to be using that same um, light gold shade that we used on our lid. It's just a perfect shade for to use everywhere. And then for our waterline liner, I'm going to be using this Lancome Black Coffee Cold Eyeliner. It is amazing. For mascara, I'm going to be using Benefit Roller Lash Mascara. I absolutely love this mascara. It is amazing and it's definitely one of my top favorites. And then I'm going to go ahead and remove that powder that we had under our contour. This just gives us a very nice sharp line, which I love. Then I'm going to go ahead and bronze up my face a little bit with my Butter Bronzer by Physicians Formula. You guys know I use this all the time because I absolutely love it and can't stay away from it this summer. It is just perfect for an everyday like color. And then for highlights, I'm using my Mary Luminizer Highlight from The Balm, which is so beautiful for the skin and I love it. And then for my lips, I am first starting off with my Best Damn Beauty Lip Mask. 
Then I am lining my lips with MAC's World Lip Liner. And then I am topping it off with ColourPop's Liquor Lipstick in the shade Beeper, which is my favorite. And then there you have it, guys. We are done with this look. I hope you enjoy it, and I will see you on my next one. Bye! Finally breathe